2021 was not the best year for World of Warcraft. From the lack of content to bad game design and troubles in the office, it was not a pleasant experience to be a WoW player. But as they say, new year, new me. 2022 could be the year of World of Warcraft, or could it be a failure? So let's discuss if this game is worth your time. We'll be looking at certain aspects of the game, from the cost of the game, to character creation, to leveling, to end game content. All will be covered and decide whether or not you should play WoW in 2022. Before we start, consider subscribing, and if you enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like and hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever I post. It helps me immensely. Thank you, and let's get into the video. World of Warcraft is an MMORPG that was released in 2004 when I was a little toddler and is only available on PC and Mac. It is considered by many the greatest MMO of all time as its reign of dominance has spanned for almost 18 years now. It is a very old game but has kept up with the times and has improved its quality in the game design over time to keep up with the standard of the MMO genre. To get into WoW, the payment method is a monthly subscription which includes all the previous old content which has been the many expansions that have come out over the years. This subscription also includes access to classic wow and classic tbc older installments of the game for players who want to experience the game in older states they are able to as well you have to buy the most recent content to experience the retail version of world of warcraft which the current expansion out right now is shadowlands which came out on november 23rd 2020 the last major content patch of this expansion is set out to come out february 22nd 2022 so it's a very good time right now to come back to the game as there will be a bunch of new content available. World of Warcraft also has a cash shop, which is not pay to win as it only includes cosmetics and character customization options that give no advantage to players in any sort of way. When you start playing the game, you have to choose a server to play on, and depending on where you live, you want to choose a server closest to you so you have the best possible experience when it comes to performance. But you're not limited, so if you are from Australia and you don't want to play on Oceanic, you can go pick America if you wanted to. You will also have the choice between two different types of servers, normal and RP. Normal servers are where you have the option to opt into world PvP, but in current day WoW, world PvP is not much of a focus. RP, also known as role playing servers, are servers where people become their characters and act in game, conversion with others. Definitely a weirder side to WoW, but if you enjoy it, go do you. So now you would go create your character. WoW is a faction based game, so you can choose between Horde and Alliance. Each side has six core races, with the seventh being playable on both sides. That will be able to be played right away. And then you have five allied races that you can unlock later down the line in the game through quest lines for each faction, meaning 23 races in total. Each race has their own special abilities and perks that is only really important in high level end game content. Now, when it comes to the classes, you have the option of 12 classes with them being locked by race. You have the warrior, which is a smasher keyboard type class. The hunter, a sharpshooter with a fierce companion to protect you. The mage, the master of fire, frost, and arcane. The rogue is the backstabbing assassin. The priest is your friendly neighborhood holy healer with a twist of dark shadow damage. The warlock is your dark demon controlling class with a side of curses. The paladin is your armored holy crusader whipping holy light all around. The druid is your shape-shifting lover of nature. The shaman is the avatar wielding the elements everywhere they go. The monk is your hand-to-hand -hand specialist, punch first and ask questions later. The demon hunter is a hero class starting at a higher level using their demonic powers. The death knight is an armored undead summoning necromancer hero class starting at a higher level. So WoW has a lot of options to choose between when it comes to classes and races with a high degree of customization with you having the ability to completely change your playstyle with various different specs and abilities and talents per class. You'll be spending a major time touching it all out to see what you really like to play. When it comes to World of Warcraft, the combat is top tier. Animation, spell slash ability design, and the feeling of the character, nothing really beats it in the MMO genre. The control you feel of your character is supreme and is one of the best things about WoW. When starting your leveling journey in World of Warcraft, from 1 to 10, you have the option to go to an intro area called Exile's Reach, which will teach you the basics of the game, and I recommend this to anyone new to WoW, as it will get you a grasp of how the game works. Your other option from 1 to 10 is to do your race starting area, which will be different and unique depending on the race you end up choosing. This will send you into the world of Azeroth, which is the early leveling area of the game, and also the main world of World of Warcraft. After you hit level 10, you will have options to choose the places you want to level to 50. This is going to consist of 
old expansions that came out in the past. Whether or not you want to level in the old world of Azeroth or head to a desolate planet or train in the up north, you have the freedom to go wherever you want to experience the story in many of these old expansions, but there is very little to no voice acting and if any it would be present in the newer expansions of cutscenes. And with leveling not being the main draw to the game or focus of World of Warcraft, you will level pretty fast and reach current content within a day if you wanted to. But as well, you have the option to enjoy the story and learn about the game, which could be your enjoyable experience and give you a lot more insight on what's going on in the world somewhat. But with WoW being such a massive game, there's a lot of story that you would have to go through to really understand the whole game. After hitting level 50, you will start to experience the newest expansion Shadowlands and make your way to level 60, which is the current max level. The most important aspect of World of Warcraft hands down is the end game content. This will include PvE and PvP content, which will offer you a good amount of things to progress through and experience the current expansion Shadowlands. You will enter a dungeon crawler called Torghast, which you will grind resources to obtain legendary powers to enhance your class further in fun and creative ways. As well, you'll be able to join 104 groups called Covenants that will offer you unique powers for your character. From transforming into an animal to having a massive flesh shield, there's a a lot of customization present in these systems. World of Warcraft is a vertical progression based game, meaning you will progressively get better gear by doing end game content. And the harder the difficulty of the content, the better gear you will attain. This is the formula for all forms of end game content in WoW. In PvE, you'll be able to go through the staple five man dungeons to gear up and then go through higher difficulties of the same dungeons. Sometimes with added timers to complete and affixes to complete completely change how the dungeon even works. From new abilities on mobs to new mobs to negative effects in your character, dungeons is one of the most popular aspects of WoW. As well, you have massive raids that you will be able to enter with 10 to 30 players, coordinate and fight monsters in massive fights with varying difficulty and rewards. Another big aspect of WoW. In PvP, you'll be able to play unranked and ranked PvP with ranking allowing you to build up your rating and attain titles and increasing levels of gear. Battlegrounds consist of 15 to 40 players of two different teams competing on different maps with objectives like capture the flag etc rated battlegrounds are the ranked version where you can build up your pvp rating the most popular pvp game mode arena are 2v2 and 3v3 death matches where you face different teams of different classes to win and gain rating this is a very intense high pace very little error for margin game mode so the major question should you play World of Warcraft in 2022? With it being the number one MMO according to MMO population with a very active player base, you'll have endless amount of people to play with and form communities in the form of guilds where you can converse and set up events with people on your server. And with the game updating every few months, you will have things to do whether it be leveling a new character, trying out different aspects of the end game, or just enjoying old content, you can do a lot in World of Warcraft. Overall, the WoW content is usually good with a few issues. I personally enjoy going and experiencing the old content as there's almost two decades of it that many players gloss over and head straight to the end game, which is unfortunate as it makes the old content irrelevant. I also enjoy the end game progression of starting a character from scratch and seeing it progress over time into an absolute beast with insane powers. It's a very addicting process for me. I also enjoy going back and looking for rare 1% mount drops that I find really cool. I would recommend as a wild player of 14 years to take it slow and appreciate the game and set goals of things you want to do as WoW is a very ambiguous game. There really isn't a clear path. Go for things that you really enjoy doing. I would also recommend playing with friends as it can be a really enjoyable experience. With hundreds and hundreds of hours of content, I would say it's absolutely worth trying to experience WoW and seeing if you enjoy it. Whether you're a new player or one who's coming back, there there is content for everyone. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, you really are amazing. And if you did enjoy the video, consider subscribing and giving it a like and hitting that bell icon so you know when I upload. It does help me immensely. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.